The Gina Hills website template includes both a general services page and um, a single services page. This tutorial is going to focus on that general services page and in particular this canvas. So you can see here on this page you have a canvas with uh, multiple tabs. This is perfect for um, the different services that you offer and the different ways that clients can work with you. So you'll notice if I click on a tab title that this will then um, open up and you can see the title, you can add a starting app price, a short description here, you can change the photo, and then of course you can add a call to action. And this could link to um, individual checkout pages if that's how you um, have your services set up, or it could link to the contact page, or in fact you could build out um, individual single service pages for each of these and then link them here. Okay, now we're inside of Show It, and you can see the mobile view of the services page on the left, and in the middle here you have the desktop view. The first thing that we're going to talk about is how to edit this canvas as it is. So how to just come in and use it with the four different tabs and plug in your details. And the next thing that we're going to do is uh, talk about how you can make changes. So let's say you only want to have three tabs. I'll kind of go over how it's built and how you can change this to accommodate um, a different number of tabs. Um, but the first thing that we're going to do is duplicate this page. So as I'm making changes, I don't uh, change anything on the original. And to do that, I'm going to go back to my site where I see the list of all the different pages. So as I mentioned, this is the general services page, but we also have a single service page. And um, there's a separate tutorial that goes over how to make edits on this page. But for the services page, I'm just going to click the, these three dots and choose duplicate. So I'll be making my changes here. Okay, let's start making some changes. I've clicked on the canvas, and if you look over here to the left, you'll see how everything is organized. So view one is open and showing, and these are all the elements that are inside of view one. So you can see as I move my mouse over, it will hover over those individual items. And if I click on another view, view two, it will show me the next view, view three, and view four. Um, so you can see there are a few elements that are outside of the views and that would be um, this um, border that goes around the whole thing and the pink shape that's behind. Obviously um, these are all elements that you can edit so if you would want to hide that for example you can just hide that really easy here. Just uh, click on these icons or you can just delete it altogether. Um, but let's focus on this canvas so let's go back to view one now, if I want to start making changes, these are just text box, so I just start clicking um, and add my text. Uh, let's call it program name one. And here you can add your starting app price, but you know don't feel obliged to include your pricing. If that's uh, not part of your business model um, for your site, then just uh, include an, another detail like um, the turnaround time or anything else that would be uh, pertinent. We can change the name again, program name number one. You can uh, double click to update the details and you can change out the image just by simply double clicking. And this will pull up your media library where you can choose another image. I'm just going to grab this one. Now these images are styled um, uniquely throughout the template. It's part of its you know, charm and characteristic. Um, those settings are found under the effects tab. So if you would want to change up something here, you can do that under the effects tab. For example, if you would want to um, take off this effect altogether and you'd rather have this image uh, kind of take up the whole uh, side, uh, or sorry, the whole height of this uh, box, then you could do that. I'm just gonna hit Control Z to go back and again to put my effects back on there. Another thing when you're adjusting these images that you want to consider is the positioning of like the, the main focus of your photo. So here you can see it feels like it's a little bit off center and an easy way to fix that is just going to the image tab and adjusting the position. So for example if I put it at zero it will shift that bowl over to the right and maybe if I go to 20 percent that's going to look a lot better. And likewise, you can change the mobile version separately. So this one is still set at 50%. So 
So I'm going to go to 20%, but in fact, I think I'll just put that at zero so that it feels a lot more centered. So that's how you would begin making changes in each tab. Now let's move on to Edit View 2. So if I click on View 2 here on the left, you'll see that the second tab is the one that's highlighted in white on the desktop and in green here on the mobile version. But you'll notice that um, my program name number one has disappeared. The one that I changed um, in the first view has now reverted back in the second view. And that's because um, each of these tabs are repeated in, inside of every view. So what you'll need to do when you customize this for your services is change the name um, in every view. So now I'm back to view one, so let me just add uh, very quickly two, three, and four. And then when I go to view two to make um, the next changes, I'll need to uh, do the same changes that I did in view one. Two. That will keep everything consistent when your user is clicking on the different tabs that they'll always show the same. So inside of every view, you'll need to update these tabs accordingly. If you want to change the um, color blocks behind the text, so the, the color of the tabs that are not highlighted, um, you can do that in the following way. So you'll just need to click on it. Keep in mind that sitting on top of it is the text box and it's a bit um, larger because we want to ensure that um, even if the user doesn't exactly hover over the wording that they're still going to activate that tab. But just behind it is a um, color box and if you go over here to the right under this tab, Shape Style, you'll see the color options. There's a slight border on it and there's the option to change the fill color. Now keep in mind when you uh, customize this template and you add in your own brand colors, those will be the colors that you'll see here and it will pick up uh, on those by default. But if you want to come in and manually change it, you can do so. Um, it can also be fun if you want to give each tab its own color. That's uh, your preference. And then you could do the same on the mobile version. So you see I can come over here and change this independent of the desktop view. As you're making these changes, I can't emphasize enough how important it is to test, test, test. So um, use the preview option here and just run through it on the desktop and on the mobile version so that you can make sure that those are all linking properly. So now you can see some of the changes that we've added in. And when I click, you can see that these update. And obviously um, it's not consistent because I was making changes all across the board, but that's um, the reason why when you make these changes for your own business that you come in and that you click on each individual one and make sure that it shows um, exactly how you want it to show. Okay, now I'm going to show you how to um, make some significant changes to this layout. Let's imagine that you want to add more or less tabs instead of four. So, you know, maybe four doesn't work for your business. Maybe you need three. So I'm going to show you how I would do that. And actually, I would start by deleting all the views except my first view because it's just easier to start with... Um, with the design exactly how you want it rather than updating each individual view every single time. So uh, let's say I want three. Now I'm just going to eyeball this, but you might want to use a little math if you want these to be exact. But just for this tutorial, I'm just going to, you know, eyeball the dimensions. But here I click on this box that is kind of outlining the whole thing and I can see the width. Um, so if I wanted this to be exact, I might choose 900 and then uh, uh, make each of these 300 so that they will be exact, but I'm just going to give a good guess and then update this accordingly. So it can be a little bit of work to get this just right. I'm not going to need the fourth one, so I'm just going to go ahead and delete that. And what did I make this? Let's take that down. That should be about right. Let me update, oops, update that as well. Uh, 
Okay, so I'm just going to drag these into place. It requires a little bit of patience, but it's well worth the effort once you uh, once you get it set up, then, uh, then you're good to go. Okay, now I'm going to zoom in here so that you can see there's a border and there's a slight overlap here. So you might need to just fiddle with this a little bit, maybe uh, drag it behind slightly so that um, maybe I'll just use my arrows to bump it over so that that border is not too... Um, prominent and it looks just nice and clean. Um, let me zoom back out. Okay, now you'll notice in order to like, there's an outline on each of these blocks. Um, in order to uh, look like, to make it look like this tab is opening up, um, you'll want to uh, just include a very, a very subtle white uh, box that's going to cover, that's going to cover that outline sophisticated I know but you know we we use what we got and uh, at the moment that seems to be the best way to do it but you want to uh, maybe adjust the numbers just to get it just to barely cover there we are okay now let me zoom back out now don't forget that as you're making these changes you'll want to update on the mobile as well so let me give this a more proper name uh, program 2 Program three. There we go. Okay, so now I've successfully successfully made three tabs, and I can do the same over here on the mobile version. I could leave them as they are, and then I could just you know use this extra space. Whoops, I could use this extra space um, for the content, or if I want to, I could also resize these to make them a bit larger and to cover a bit more space. That's just up to you. And then you could just um, select them together with the text and slide them down like this. And then, you know, when you get into the nitty gritty, maybe use your arrows, that's very helpful. Again, I'm just eyeballing it, but in general, you, you want these to be, uh, you know, exact measurements and you can um, make sure that they are by clicking on the, um, the size and position panel, then you can see the width and the height and adjust those individually. Um, but just for the sake of this tutorial, I'm just uh, trying to do this as quickly as possible so you can get an idea of how it works. And then what you want to be sure of is that your click actions are correct. Now these should be set for you already, but just to double check, um, it, set, it should be set to canvas, this canvas, view one, view two, and view three. So if you would have added more tabs, let's say you added five or six, then you want to make sure that you come in and each of those text boxes are set to the appropriate view that it should show. Okay, that should give you a pretty good idea of how to use this um, horizontal tabs canvas. The last thing that I want to point out is how you can mix and match from these pages. So um, for example, if we scroll down, you have a few different options uh, to portray your services. You also have these single canvas views. Um, I have them set up uh, with the intention to use as an additional service, but uh, you can adjust the text to, to anything that fits your business, or in fact, you could lay out your services um, like this if you prefer. So you'll see these are the additional service canvases, and if I wanted to make these just alternate down the page. I would just duplicate uh, service one. So I, I click the three dots and I choose duplicate. It will place it right under that canvas like this, but obviously we want to click and drag that down. So now we have these uh, canvases alter alternating. That's also a great way to showcase your services. Um, if we have a look over at the um, single service page, you'll see that there are a number of different ways to highlight your your products and your services here as well. So for example, if you, let's say you want to use the multiple device canvas, all I need to do is go to that page and find that canvas, uh, let's see, multiple device, and then uh, click on the three dots again and come to the copy option. So copy that canvas. Then go back to the canvas, I'm sorry, go back to the page that you want to add it to 
and then let's say I want to put it, where shall we put it? Um, let's just put it under the hero. So then click on the hero canvas, and when you choose the three dots again, you'll see here at the bottom, uh, paste this, um, this new canvas above it, paste it into it, or paste it below it. So we want to paste it below. And so now we've added this canvas to our page. So that's an easy way that you can kind of uh, toggle between these two pages and uh, find the layout that fits your business the best.